Here's an update on the giant sequoia growing in Middle Tennessee. And you can see, although the outside tips of the branches are pretty good still, even the top looks kind of okay. The inside and then one side of it has really had a lot of dieback, especially on the lower branches. I don't really think it's because of shading, because um, the amount of sun this gets is about the same year round. I don't think it's due to drought stress, even though it does get drier here in the fall. The yard has still been watered and we got some rain showers here and there, so it's not like we're in a drought. So I tend to think that it's going to be um, pathogen stress of some kind. And I've been reading online about it, and this seems to be a similar pattern where the dead foliage spreads from the inside out and from the bottom to the top, and eventually the whole thing is gone. So. I'm leaning towards getting rid of the giant sequoia and replacing it with something else. I think I found something else that can do better here. Just because I don't want to spend years trying to grow something that's limping along and taking one step forward and two steps back every growing season. I haven't decided completely, but I'm leaning towards getting rid of it.